All right, let's see what it is. It's always the case. You can never do it with one hand and holding the camera. I'll be right back. Amazon informations as always. And here is the fan. Let's pull it out and see what we have. So DC fan that has 11 blades. Supposedly it's supposed to be powerful. And if it is powerful, then I won't worry about trying to get the Polar. But if it's not, then I'm going to have to get the original replacement of the Polar Blue one I had traveling and using over here. But we'll see, because this thing got 11 blades, so I can't see why it wouldn't be powerful for such a small fan. And it also has a thicker USB cable than the Polar one does. So let's see what we're really dealing with here. There's some information on the bottom here. Pull them out. I said you kindly deal patiently with me as I try to get it out of the box. And it appears to be instructions on how to operate it. The problem is it's in uh, Chinese writing. And obviously, you're not going to be able to understand that. And also, here we go again. More Chinese writing. Unfortunately, I'm not Chinese. So, I don't understand that. But anyways, with the family like on the box. And I don't need the box. Put this little bit of information over here. And let's see what we... I'm going to turn this fan off so we can be able to hear it. And let's see what we got here. It's a USB fan. It's got a very thick uh, cable right here. A thick layer of protection. So that if the cable does get pinched, it doesn't mess up the internals. It seems pretty long. And here it is. It has four blades in the front. And it appears to have seven little blades in the back. The seven blades in the back in the back spins counterclockwise to suck the air in. The blades in the front spins clockwise. Which is rather interesting. It goes up, it goes down, it kind of tilts a little bit. So we're gonna put it right here like this. I don't know how far it actually goes back. I think, yeah, there you go. So it is adjustable. So we're going to go ahead and plug this into some USB power over here. And we're going to go ahead and get started. One second. So it does have some pitch to the blades. And yes, the front blades spin clockwise. And the back blades, you can see the back blades right there, the back ones. Let's turn it around here so you can see it. You see those thin little blades? That helps suck the air in as well. But they spin the opposite direction counterclockwise. So let's do high speed first. I'll say roughly this thing spins out about 2,200 RPMs, produces a decent breeze. But I wouldn't say that it's way better than a Polar. Unfortunately, it's not. But it does give off a good breeze, but I wouldn't consider this to be way better than the Polar. So I will be getting that back. But for what it is, it's a pretty decent fan. And low. Which is basically nothing. It's probably only spinning at about 1,000 RPMs and off. There you go. Of course, you can see both blades spinning here. Turn it back, there's both blades. The first blade started spinning and the second blade started spinning afterwards because it's on two separate motors. And now off. Clockwise, counterclockwise. So there's that. 11 blades. 11 blades on a fan like this that only pushes 2,200 RPMs gives off a decent breeze. Unfortunately, it's not that powerful like the little 4-inch Polar. So I will be getting that back as a replacement. You've seen it before. I'm just getting it back as a replacement because the cord on that one has a shortage. It has a shortage right about in here somewhere. This is a rather thick one. 
but the other one is a little bit thinner. So that being said, that will be getting, coming back to my collection. And uh, there you go. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. More fan videos like this to come. Also, the Air King 9218 is on its way. The replacement for the third time. So get ready for that. And uh, again, more fan videos to come soon. And other videos. God bless you and go on.